means of protecting Dr. King. We are fearful that in the turmoil of the moment, someone may even harm Dr. King's life. And with all the force of language we can use... The Mountaintop is a play written by Katori Hall, and it takes place on uh, April 3rd, 1968, uh, the night before the Reverend Martin Luther King was assassinated. And I, I play Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, He's just given his famous uh, mountaintop speech, which uh, ended up being his final uh, public speech, his final speech, uh, uh, his final speech. And uh, he's he's tired. He's been, um, you know, on a on a roller coaster ride over the last few days, and uh, he's exhausted. But he knows he's got to start work on his next sermon, which is due to be delivered in the next week. Uh, so he's ordered a cup of coffee. Room service delivers it, and it uh, ends up being a beautiful young maid named Kame. And uh, she comes in the room, and they get to talking. And, um, you know, he reveals a lot about himself, about his goals, and about, uh, you know, the work that he's done and the work that he has yet to accomplish. And she, uh, she reveals a lot about herself as well. I researched everything. You know, I, re I read uh, a good chunk of his autobiography. Uh, I've listened to several of his speeches just to sort of understand and hear the, the, the cadence of the way in which he, he, he spoke. Uh, there's a lot of interviews out there, you know. Uh, you know, God bless YouTube, man. You, you, I just, I burned YouTube up just finding as much as I could uh, of him. And, um, y you know, that's, that's sort of what you have to do. But at the same time, um, you know, as an actor, you have to not be burdened by that at the same time. And I think that's what I'm trying to do is give a sense of who, who Dr. King was and who Dr. King is to each one of us. And, um, and the research and all that kind of stuff just sort of supports it. But when I come onto the stage or when I get into the rehearsal hall, I've got to sort of throw all of that other stuff away and just convey the Dr. King that, uh, that sort of lives within me. I don't think you can do a play about Dr. King without it being a play about hope you know, about um, e equality and, 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 and justice and, and, and truth and, and the, the basic human rights of, of, of individuals regardless of, you know, of race, creed, any of that kind of thing. And I think that, you know, what I would want audience members to walk out of here with, uh, you know, aside from a myriad of other sort of emotions that start to swirl up, is, is they walk out uh, feeling a sense of hope, feeling that we have accomplished a whole heck of a lot, but there's, there's a whole lot further we have to go in order to reach that, uh, you know, that land that, uh, that Dr. King dreamed of and, you know, that iconic um, phrase that he said in his I Have a Dream speech where his four children can be judged by the content of their character but not the color of their skin. And, uh, and I think it is within our reach, but we just have to, we've got to keep stretching to get there.